<laughs> Hi guys and gals, it's John and Emily. from AFK Books and Records in beautiful Virginia Beach, Virginia. Hey, you can come and take your selfie just like Phil Collins is doing back here with the amazing Stop Making Sense big suit uh, by the amazing Talking Heads. Come do this. Um, we will repost your photo too. We're going to collect them all yep. and repost it. Um, by the way, the album is being reissued, a deluxe vinyl reissue next week, uh, the 26th. So if you want to pre-order that, let us know. Plus, there's a really cool compilation coming out with all kinds of crazy covers. Miley Cyrus, Paramore, yep. all in tribute to the great Talking Heads. Thank you guys so much for sending this to us. This is so much fun. We've had a blast. Yep. Um, so we got a bunch of new releases to show you this week. We're going to kick it off right now with this amazing band. This is a reissue, The Velt, Illuminated 1989. This is the original 89 full-length record from the Raleigh, North Carolina shoegaze band produced by Cocteau Twins Robin Guthrie that was originally shelved by Capitol Records and finally got its proper release. It's amazing. If you're into the shoegaze scene and it's really popular right now, check these guys out. They're great. They're still producing new music. They're still touring the belt. Next up we have Sobs, Air Guitar. This is a reissue of the sophomore album from Singapore's premier indie pop group. It draws a line through the history of pop stylistics from 80s new wave and 90s power pop to aughts skater pop and radio pop. Pitchfork says it is exuberant, satisfying guitar pop and it's on cloudy blue. So great. Check them out. Sobs. Uh, AJ Lee and Blue Summit, City of Glass. The third album from the award-winning, energetic, and technically jaw-dropping bluegrass band is a spellbinding collection of original songs and covers that's just as much country soul and gritty bluesy Americana as it is rock club and festival-ready string band fair, all framed through a California folk lens. Next is The Growlers, Chinese Fountain. 10th anniversary edition of the Surf Psych Garage Rock Band's fourth album has been updated to include a gatefold with never before seen photos and colored vinyl. It includes fan favorites Going Gets Tough, Black Memories, and Rare Hearts. Uh, next up, Pete Rock, Pete's Terminals 2, the 2015 sequel to the 2001 classic that helped define the hip hop instrumental record. It puts the full range of Rock's gifts on display, the meticulously chopped horns, unquantized drums, and air raid sirens. It contains the emotions of a thousand eulogies. This is a one-time pressing on metallic gold vinyl with original Kip Defog oil-painted cover art. Super shiny and cool on the back to Pete Rock. Next up, Glass Animals, I Love You So Much. The fourth studio album from the human musical group Sensations featuring the singles Creatures in Heaven and A Tear in Space, Airlock. This is a limited indie edition that includes printed inner sleeve and a 12 inch four page booklet and is pressed to black and white splatter wax. We also have the CD somewhere. Somewhere, and there. we've got this poster while supplies last and, and this, this amazing tote. tote. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out to the listening yes. party. We had a great turnout for that on Sunday. Uh, we really appreciate your support for those events. It's a lot of fun for us. And we, we hear it's fun for you too, so it's good. You got to hear it almost a whole week early, which is fantastic. Yep. Um, next up, we got Mr. Bungle, super shiny, quote unquote, 1991 to 1999. This 6LP box set, there they are, um, contains three legendary albums, Mr. Bungle, Disco Volante, and California. Each album comes as a 2LP gatefold, all packaged together in this shiny metallic foil box. Very nice, very nice. And those have been out of print forever, so if you want to get them, get them while you can. Yep. Next is Twisters, the album. The unprecedented 29-track album features brand new tracks from Luke Combs, Miranda Lambert, Jelly Roll, Laney Wilson, Bailey Zimmerman, Kane Brown, Thomas Rhett, Megan Maroney, Shania Twain, Tyler Childers, and many more on limited edition Translucent Tan. Uh, next up, the Rolling Stones. We almost put Mick Jagger back there, but we went with Phil. It was tough between Mick and Phil. <laughs> we want you to know, but Phil, yeah, he just, I don't know, he, he nailed it. Uh, the Rolling Stones number two, repress of their second album, which spent 10 weeks at number something in 1965. <laughs> <laughs> we presume it's number one. Uh, features Off the Hook, uh, which is the B-side of Little Red Rooster, and What a Shame, the B-side of U the U.S. hit Heart of Stone. Two of three original Jagger Richards compositions. This is pressed on 180 gram wax. 10 weeks at number 274. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Next is Sleep Token, Take Me Back to Eden. This is back in stock. This is the spectacular final chapter to the trilogy that started with their 2019 debut album, Sundowning. More than an hour of music across 12 distinctive tracks, it features the heaviest moments thus far. 
press to black and beige galaxy vinyl. Yeah, I mean, that came out, what, oh. a month and a half ago yep. and just instantly sold out and we couldn't get more. So, hey, there, there's look, the glass animals. There seat. it is. Is here. Oh, it's so cute. His eyeballs. Uh, His eyeballs. Cliff Jordan, Cliff Craft, blowing in from Chicago in 1957 with a series of excellent blue note dates, including this one featuring Art Farmer on trumpet, Sonny Clark on piano, George Tucker on bass, and Lewis Hayes on drums. The set includes Jordan originals like the Sublime Laconia, plus tunes by Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, and Duke Ellington. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's a good, good set. Uh, this Blue Note Classic Vinyl Edition is stereo and all analog. Next is Thad Jones, the magnificent Thad Jones. This album is widely regarded as the greatest small group recording of the trumpeter's career. Featuring Billy Mitchell on tenor sax, Barry Harris on piano, Percy Heath on bass, and Max Roach on drums, the 1956 date is highlighted by Jones's iconic performance of April in Paris, plus his swingin' originals, Billy Doo and Thedia. This Blue Note classic vinyl edition is mono and all analog, and Kevin Gray and co blah, 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 blah. A Day to Remember, Homesick, another shiny one, all the shiny records. This is the 15th anniversary pressing of their gold certified third album. The two LP set features the original album, two acoustic tracks, and nine live tracks. After its 2009 release, the album hit number one on the Indie Albums chart, as well as Kill Your Stereo's Album of the Year. Please don't kill your stereo. <laughs> Next is AFI, Black Sails in the Sunset. The 25th anniversary edition of the Bay Area Hardcore Band's fourth album. This special pressing features three bonus tracks, never before released song Weight of Words, the Japanese B-side Who Knew, and Lower It, which is exclusive to the vinyl format. Limited edition Neon Orange, and if that isn't a strong enough reason, Zach wanted you all to know that this is his favorite AFI record. There you go. Then Staples, Dark Times, the Long Beach rapper's sixth studio album is a snapshot of Staples presently on top of the world on the surface, but reality might be trickier. Throughout the album's 13 tracks, he grapples with life's heavy heaviness, all while understanding what the gravity of his work means in the grand scheme of things. Staples. Ooh. Next up is Hosier, Wasteland Baby. The sophomore album by Irish singer-songwriter, originally released in 2019, has gone on to be certified platinum in Canada and gold in multiple territories. This expanded edition includes the original album, B-Sides, an acoustic version of Beef, plus brand new song, Why Would You Be Loved? We sell a lot of Hosier, a yep. lot, like every week. We sell out and I order one more and then we sell out that week, so he's doing all right. Uh, Sun Records sings Elvis Presley, celebrating the 70th anniversary of his first release on Sun. This collection is Elvis as interpreted by his Sun contemporaries like Jerry Lee Lewis, Johnny Cash, and Roy Orbison, sharing their versions of songs Elvis made famous. Special editions include alternate versions of tracks from Carl Perkins, Sleepy a La Beef, and more, available on a clear smoke colored vinyl. Elvis! Sleepy La Beef! Thank you very much. Next up, we've got some Rhino Sounds of the Summer records. So which many. We've got little air fresheners that go with those while supplies last. First up, we've got Little Feet, Time Loves a Hero. Their 1977 studio album, reissued on vinyl for the first time in over 40 years and cut from the original analog tapes by Bernie Grumman. It features hit singles, Time Loves a Hero, Rocket in My Pocket, and Old Folks Boogie, which all went on to become some of the band's most coveted live concert staples. And it's on CD. Oh, this great record. Linda Ronstadt's Simple Dreams, a timeless and eclectic album that showcases her versatile vocal talent across various musical genres. From the upbeat and catchy It's So Easy to the poignant and emotional Blue Bayou. Plus, what do we got? Poor, Poor, Pitiful Me. What a great track that is. Uh, the album seamlessly weaves together rock, country, and folk influences on Sea Blue. What a voice. Oh. Next up is Rod Stewart, Footloose and Fancy Free. The three times platinum 1977 studio album featuring the hit songs Hot Legs, You're in My Heart, and I Was Only Joking, pressed on Sea Blue, and it includes a booklet. All right, we got the Doobies taking it to the streets. Their platinum certified 1976 album, which was the first to feature Michael McDonald on lead vocals, including the hits Taking It to the Streets, It Keeps You Running, and Wheels of Fortune on limited edition Sea Blue. What a hit machine they were back in the 70s, man. Next up, Daryl Hall and John Oates, now playing. Uh, from the heartfelt ballad, She's Gone, to the upbeat groove of Las Vegas Turnaround, the stewardess song. Each, so each song showcases the duo's musical prowess and knack for crafting memorable melodies, also on Sea Blue. Blue Eyed Soul. Next up, 
Al Stewart now playing, featuring classics like You're the Cat and Time Passages, known for their intricate storytelling and folk rock fusion. This track list offers a captivating journey through Stewart's musical landscape. This is also on, wait for it, Sea Blue. Next up, Sonny and Cher. A curated set of timeless hits that defined an era such as I Got You Babe, The Beat Goes On, and more. Experience the harmonizing vocals and catchy melodies that made this duo legendary in the 1960s. On Sea Blue. Utopia, now playing from the anthemic Love is the Answer to the Reflective The Road to Utopia. This track list navigates themes of human connection and aspiration. The band crafts a musical tapestry that resonates with listeners on both emotional and sonic levels. This is also on... Next is Griff, Vertigo. Her major label debut is a coming-of-age album shaped for complex times. She's scaling new creative heights without compromising the hand-stitched, homemade magic that first marked her out as British pop's most modern, exciting voice. Not part of Rhino Sounds of Summer, but guess what? Sea Blue. It's on Sea Blue. Somebody must have had some extra vinyl laying around <laughs> and said, hey, we need, to, we need to do an event around the Sea Blue vinyl, because there's a lot of Sea Blue, which I love blue and I love the sea, so hey. There you go. There you go. Uh, next up, Mr. George Benson. What a classic. Dreams do come true where George Benson meets Robert Farnan. Benson's vocals float over an orchestral reimagining of beloved American standards and soul classics in this incredible collaboration with renowned composer and conductor Robert Farnan. The brand new 10-track collection once thought to be lost to history was recently rediscovered in Benson's personal vaults and remastered to its original glory. Good to see Ben again. I like it. Next up, Highly Suspect, As Above, So Below. After starting as a bar cover band in Cape Cod, they relocated to Brooklyn, New York, and have since found success over four previous studio albums. They are known for their gritty guitars, haunting piano melodies, and off-kilter synths on limited black and blue splatter. Okay, here we go. We've been waiting a while for these, the Duran Duran reissues. Kicking it off with self-titled, the debut was originally released in 1981 and includes the hits Planet Earth and Girls on Film. It's considered a significant album in the new wave and synth pop movements of the early 80s. This is newly cut for vinyl at Abbey Road Studios, like all of these, which we are about to show you. Yep. Next up is Rio. Their second album was released in 1982. It electrified the already rising second British invasion, dominating the American charts with charts with singles such as Rio, Hungry Like the Wolf, and Save a Prayer, also cut at Abbey Road. And that's uh, got really cool texture on it. It's like a textured cover. Yeah. Um, super bougie. You can, it, it, you can probably use it as sandpaper, but um, don't do that. I wouldn't. But man, um, thinking back to that album, like watching MTV, which is pretty much all I did in the early 80s, but um, how many Same. times, anybody else out there doing that, how many times did you watch Rio or Hungry Like the Wolf? Like every 15 minutes they played it. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. As far as the amount of music consumption for individual songs, it's probably like Rio, uh, <laughs> which is crazy. And it's a great song, don't get me wrong, but oh man, it's like burn into my into my memory cells. Uh, Duran Duran, Seven and the Ragged Tiger, originally released in 83. This was the final Duran album with the original five members until 2004. This third album was the first of Duran's to reach number one in the UK charts. Abbey Road Studios, you know the rest. Next is Notorious. This signified a musical change Notorious. for them in 1986. Produced by Nile Rodgers, it focuses on brassy numbers and chic-inspired dance rock. It has become a cult favorite of fans for the mature compositions and sophisticated directions. And Nile Rodgers, he has produced so many amazing records and bands. I mean, the Madonna, Like a Virgin, um, yep. What Were You Just, What Let's Did You Dance. Let's Dance, all of that. Yep. That man, that man can play some guitar <laughs> and he knows what sounds great. Incredible. Duran Duran, big thing. The band continued to explore different styles that culminated in this album, released in 1988. It was a reflection on the musical climate that was changing toward the late 80s and had a more experimental and electronic approach compared to their earlier releases. And last but certainly not least, we have some K-pop for you. We have Jimin, Muse. Jimin of the K-pop sensation BTS is back with a brand new album to follow up his highly successful album, Face. Uh, it is available in two versions, the Blooming version and the Serenade version. Contents include a CD, CD sleeve, package box, photo book with 88 pages, a Muse card set with seven each, photo poster, instant photo, random one of three, coaster, sticker pack, and photo card. All the things. So that's what we got for you. Um, we're still waiting 
believe it or not, on two boxes from last week's new releases that we started addressing last week, um, the replacement boxes are now missing. Like, I, yeah, who knows? So um, we do have some other really cool stuff that eventually we'll show you maybe in a couple <laughs> weeks. Um, if you're waiting on stuff and you're waiting on a call, they say it's out for delivery tomorrow, but yeah, the last time these stuff. replacement boxes were in Indiana and they've been saying that for a couple days now. So we may need to reorder the reorder the reorder. We're not exactly sure on that, um, but we'll keep you posted. We do have some cool swag to go with some of that stuff. Yep. Um, posters and guitar picks and stuff for the Van Halen box set, but we're sorry, truly. Um, but. Other than that, come see us. We got some great stuff. We got a great restock. We're going to show you a flip through video of some of the amazing stuff that we just got in. Um, and hey, your ta yeah. picture taken is Dave Byrne. Yeah, there you go. Or whoever you are yeah. in this amazing big suit. See you guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye.